A few months ago, we talked about our dream destination here in Japan. Your dream is to go to Okinawa. End of August, I had a few days off, so we made our dream come true and took off for Okinawa. There is we go to Okinawa. In this city, hurry in the cup, my tea. I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow You will often hear that Okinawa is to Japan what Hawaii is to the United States. Well, eight years ago we went to Maui for our honeymoon, so I think we are in a good position to answer the question how Okinawa compares to Hawaii. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Let's start with the things that are similar between the two destinations. Okinawa, much like Hawaii, is made of different sized islands revolving around a main island. And the one thing and one really beautiful thing that the both destinations share is landscape. Beautiful sandy beaches with crystal clear waters to enjoy. Wait, hold on. Lush green forest almost everywhere. On Maui, we wandered around the bamboo forest, whereas on Okinawa, you can see and experience so many different vegetations. A rich animal ecosystem. I was lucky to swim with a big sea turtle while in Maui. And I also was lucky to spot another big sea turtle with my drone while flying over the waters of Okinawa. But I guess there are so much more to see than the turtles, but it's also okay to let them be and live their lives without meat disturbing. Both destinations are volcanic regions, if I'm not mistaken or if my informations are not wrong, with more than 100 active volcanoes in Japan. I didn't get the chance to see an active volcano with my own eyes, but we had the chance to experience the sunrise on the top of Mount Haleaka topping at 3055 meters above sea level and it was just an amazing experience. As you can see when we speak about landscape I could mix up footage from Hawaii or footage from Okinawa you wouldn't be able to notice which footage belongs to. Them. Now regarding the differences it comes down to cultural difference. Obviously, on Okinawa, the Japanese culture is dominant, with Japanese-style homes or cultural symbols, like for example, the Komainus, aka the famous Japanese lion dog. It's so famous on Okinawa that you cannot throw a stone without hitting one. They are just everywhere. They always come in pair, mirroring the concept of yin and yang. And they symbolize that they are the guardians of whatever place they are placed in front of. That's, by the way, a great tattoo idea. Yep. On Hawaii, you can of course see the impact of the American culture, but the native Hawaiians have their own way of living life and doing things that I love and respect. And that's the aloha spirits and all things are done this way. Not meant to harm and not meant to cause unhappiness to others. On Okinawa, they don't have the aloha spirit, but they have ikigai, which means your reason for being. Iki means life in Japanese, and gai stands for value or worth. Your ikigai is your life purpose, the reason you wake up in the morning. That's one of many reasons why on Okinawa you can find the most over 100 years old people in the world. I could do a video just on this topic, but uh, I will put a link to a National Geographic article. They explain it much better than I would ever explain it. One last big, big difference you may have noticed. On Hawaii, we went as a couple, just the two of us. Of course, it was a honeymoon. But on Okinawa, we went with our three kids. So the next logical step, at least for us, is to plan a trip to go to Hawaii with our three kids. We've seen so many amazing things on Hawaii that I want them to experience, from breathtaking waterfalls to natural pools, from experiencing the sunrise on the top of a volcano to experiencing the magical road trip around the island called the Road to Hena. And of course, you cannot experience Hawaii without enjoying a hula show and get the chance to interact with native Hawaiians and get a sense of the aloha way of life. So I will just end up this video by saying aloha.